All right, rain barrel time. Oh, I've got this Fiskars rain barrel here. It's a 58, 58 gallons of water. All right, so for this, for this job, it's super easy. Comes with all the uh, instructions, self-explanatory, uh, with the package, uh, all the equipment you need, except for the tools. So for this, for this job, we're going to need a rake and a shovel to help clear out and level the ground underneath it. For that also we have a level. We're gonna need some sort of measuring device. I've got a yardstick. We'll need a cordless drill with a one inch drill bit adapter and then a Phillips head bit. And to cut the downspout, we're going to be using a hacksaw. All right, first things first is I'm going to clear back uh, some of these, this overgrown here, overgrowth here, so I have room to work and for the rain barrel can fit. And for this, I'm just using some pruning shears. See mommy. See mommy. I see mommy. Don't touch. What? Hi. A duck. I wear this. Stony, don't touch. Hi. <laughs> the post is green. I'm going to clear out the mulch and push it away so that I can get down to the dirt uh, and make a, try to make it level as possible. I've got some bricks that I'm gonna use uh, as a base. That's what I did for the other rain barrel. So I'm gonna, like I said, move the mulch out, get down to the dirt, try to level it as much as possible, and then I'll get some bricks and bring it over and lay them down as a platform. Now let's see how level it is. Looking pretty good that way. Way off on this way. Probably need to, yeah, we need to come up a little on the front. Looks pretty good. Check the level here. This is where you really want to check and see if it's level. Perfect. 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 install the in, uh, inlet onto the side of end of the side of the rain barrel all right so to do this it's gonna require it's already like sectioned off it's got a little divot dimple right here in the barrel um, you're gonna need a one inch one inch drill bit or uh, I guess it's technically a, a wood bit or, what, or whatever it's actually called I don't know what it's actually called but here we go Right on the back side. Make sure that you get the debris out of here. Ugh. Don't want that in your water. 
All right, so now it's time to convert our downspout uh, to install our diverter so that we can get water flow into our rain barrel. All right, I've got the lower section removed. Now I'm going to cut on the bottom line here to remove the rest of the center section that's being removed. Now we do pretty much the same thing for the bottom half. Well, I take that back. Not exactly the same thing. When I was researching this, um, some guys uh, gave reviews on the, the, the diverter itself for a, installing it on a two by three um, downspout. And so since you have to use this diverter, I don't know, here, let me show you. There is actually a gap. See, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit the the adapter perfect. You can see on the top, which isn't a problem on the top because this is the way the water's flowing. So the water's going to continue flowing down here. So if there's that gap here, water's just going to spew all out of this thing and make a huge mess and not actually get diverted through the pipe. So what I did, uh, since I found that out ahead of time doing research, I went ahead and bought some some caulk on the other on the other one so i caulked that adapter to to the uh, spout ahead of time and so i haven't had any issues with the other one so i'm going to do the same thing here and i'll show you how i did that Here's what I'm talking about. If you can see down in there, so I can get the camera to focus. Yeah, see all that light, those gaps around the edges? Yeah, that's not gonna be good for water flow because that's right where the water enters this adapter. And that's just, that's gonna be like a huge mess and water's gonna go everywhere. So, what we're gonna do, first let's secure it with screws. And I just bought some simple uh, silicone adhesive. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna fill those gaps. Now you can see, no daylight.
All we gotta do is put the lid on and wait for a good rain. It'll fill up. Last time, the other one filled up in one, one good heavy rain. Um, yeah, it's 58 gallons. It's nice uh, little extra emergency water supply that we have. We have a Berkey water filter, three and a half gallons, I think it is, inside the house. Um, so if we ever, if our electric, electricity went out for a little while and we needed some emergency water, we'd have 116 gallons here at our disposal that we could just dump right into our Berkey water filter and you know just use it for whatever we need to, cooking, drinking, whatever. So it's nice to have two of these and especially have one right by the garden. guys hope this video was helpful um, informative helps you out in maybe deciding if you want to do a rain barrel and hopefully gave you some tips if you already got something in mind um, yeah. look at it. Uh, thanks for watching like and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you later <laughs>